Hi there guys, so welcome to another episode of this Isengard campaign. On this case, we are uh, kinda kinda threatened here on our backs near Argon. So I'm gonna have to fight this battle. No, I'll try to attack this small army here and it will draw out this army as well. So maybe I can capture Argon and survive until I can get some reinforcements there. Um, this army can... No, this army, maybe I can destroy it, but the secondary army that it's coming in, that one is going to kill me uh, if, if I'm not careful. So, I got to plan out against it. By the way, I moved a lot of stuff, you know, I'm besieging uh, Austin Edil now. I have a new army here that is uh, grouping up with this one as well. And just, just streaming reinforcements to the front, of course. To this front, you know, I have three fronts now. Um, this battle I won't show you, I'm just going to fight it off camera, uh, as I've done way too many battles with loot. And the one that I'm going to show you is of course the Siege of Moranen here, although it's from the other side, which means, well, you're going to see what it means. <laughs> I don't even need these ballistas and stuff and catapults, but yeah, I'm going to use them nevertheless. What do they have? Mostly Moranan gods, a few work halberds, molars. Uh, the unit of catapult is actually the most dangerous. He has another unit of catapult who will have to enter the city, I believe. Yeah, that should be easy. So let's fight it out on the battle map. Now, one thing that I uh, have to confirm you guys is that uh, I have actually uh, done a few movements around. What I want to do as of now is as soon as I capture Baradur. Oh, sorry, I think my microphone was a little, a little bit off. I, I hope it's better. So, as soon as I capture Baradur, I'm going to stop the Let's Play until I'm ready to capture Bree and Michelle Delving. I, I think that's a better uh, idea, just so at least I'm predicting something like uh, 73 maybe videos, which is not too much and it's not too few as well. So, that's kind of cool. I need to speed it up a little bit. Not because, you know, I'm, I'm rushing or because I'm tired of, on the campaign or, or not. It's because, actually, I think that uh, when it comes to the end, um, most people are just, okay, come on, finish it up. And uh, they just want to see something new, which I also want to play some, some uh, new factions and stuff. And I... So, it will... Just be, you know, I'm going to replace this with something else. Uh, what I am going to replace it is with actually my Orcs of Gundabad campaign, which has been on halt uh, for quite a while now, actually. I'm going to use my pikemen this time. I'm going to use my pikemen ahead, you know, just in guard mode and stuff. The rest of my infantry forces are going to be over here. As you can see, we are on the other side of the Black Gate. Yeah, we entered on the back door, and now we're gonna crush those units here at the back black gate. Okay, so for now, can you hit anyone? Doesn't seem like it. Very well. Let's just deploy over there. I cannot deploy for some reason. Oh, now I can. But he is moving towards me, isn't he? I don't know. Well, I can move these guys here. I can move these ones over here. Come on, behind or ahead? Okay, one thing that I want to know, uh, I might just deploy them like this. Yeah, it's a little bit better. That way I can at least deploy them. I just hope they can actually hit someone. Uh, I'm going to have my archers over there as well. Now, pikemen, you are the most important units. You're the ones who are going to protect everyone here. And you're just going to deploy behind the catapults. That's about it. Saru man. Hello, Saru. Get over here. Let's fast forward so we get some action going on. Now, one thing that I'm, I'm, I'm going about to tell you. Uh, I could have gone, you know, for Dunland first. And I think that would be a much better option. You know, going against Dunland first. You know, betraying them before betraying Mordor. Um... Didn't didn't feel like the best thing to do, but now I believe it was You know if I had done that then I would probably already have won Just because I could have concentrated everything 
Nevertheless, let's see the bombardment and everyone just missed. Wow, we got one dude. Out of those, all of those. Come on, really? Come on. I want some good, nice, juicy shots. That's it, like that one. That was a good one. Now, what we have here? Mostly all of these guys. Well, and my pikemen are trying to move towards them. Yeah, they're gonna take quite a while. Uh, hopefully, they're gonna be ready for for when he moves out. My archers are gonna do most of the damage. Whoa. I didn't like that one. You know, I heard some, some uh, fireball just landing something like here or whatever. So, I don't like that. I want all the fireballs to go on their side. That's about it. Good. Already lost 6%. So, as we're saying, you know, I'm loving this uh, Isengard campaign, but I'm fighting on three fronts. And that prolongs the battles for so long, you know. I could have just, you know, finished off Dunland and then just get back with that. Uh, I believe now that it would be, would have been the best way. Let me move these guys a little bit closer, something like this. Come on. That's it. These pikemen, well, I don't know why they move like this. They're really slow. But, well, doesn't matter. Everyone else is just getting slaughtered here. Come on, just one small hit over there. Come on. Can I... Let me try hit him. That's it. That's it. If he spreads out like that, it's even better for me. Okay, so here come the catapults of his. And those will provide a lot of damage. Oh, that was a nice shot. Like what, 20 guys with that? Okay, let's attack this catapult, shall we? Let's attack the catapult. That's always a good idea. He's sending in a few more units. But my archers and such are still providing a lot of damage. So far he has lost like 24%. Wow. Now, can you kill the catapults, please? Don't let them hit my units. Especially not the pikemen, come on. Are they ruining them? Yeah, they are managing. Good. Got him, there's only one left. He got one Urukai infantry unit there. Like seven dudes or something like that. Okay, so far the catapults are destroyed. Almost. Come on, kill the last one of them. And we got it. Good. Now you can shoot this guy. That's about it. You can finally use fireballs once more. He's not moving ahead, which... Well, considering what I do have here, it's... Not that I should blame him for anything. Yep. Keep hammering them down. This is going to be an easy battle if it's like that. What do we have here? Scares enemy units, increases enemy fatigue. Not for now. This captain is dead. Look at the amount of kills done by those ballistas and catapults. And the archers, of course. Okay, you guys, I'm going to deploy you a little bit more ahead. Well, maybe something like this would do the trick. Let's go something like that. Yeah, much better. And who is not targeting anyone? You guys. Well, crossbows go over here. Archers go over there. We have a bigger range. You archers, you go over here, boys. Let's go over there. Come on, run, run, run. Yeah, that's it. Come on, catapults. Spread a little bit your shots. And ballistas as well. Come on. Very nice, very nice. So what I believe is that, um, of course, I could have attacked Dunland and it would be much better. That's the, what I was uh, talking about. If I had attacked Dunland, then I would have already uh, uh, captured Michelle Delving and Bree, possibly. Then I would just leave some units there to guard that area and proceed over into Mordor. That would be, you know, that would be interesting, of course. Okay, what do we do have here? 
Can I hit that middle, the juicy middle? That's it, exactly! Hammer those down! Nice! What is happening here? A workbench. He's forming a cross or whatever. Let me just go faster a little bit. Come on. Still have a lot of arrows and and uh, catapult shots to go. Especially the catapult shots. They're gonna take quite a while. Hey, I destroyed the inner general again. Good. So, can I hit the catapults? Yes, I can. Let me put it in times two. Hey, we got it. Once more. Once more, the threat is their own catapults. He only has three left, so no problem. Whoops! There he's going. He's gonna hit a few of my units. Yeah, but nothing that I can do. Come on, hit one more of them. Can you hit them? I just don't want way too many. That's it. Kill those catapults. Or destroy them, actually. Not kill them. That's it. Nice shot. Good. We got another one. Come on, ballistas. You gotta shoot some more. Come on. Kill them. Or destroy them. Whatever. That's it. He's still gonna hit some of my units, but, well... That's just to expect. Almost that shot. Almost got that shot. This fire ability, you know, just the ballista's fire just wrecks everything. Come on, kill the catapult. This last one, please. Okay, gonna issue on time six. We got him. That's good. So right now he doesn't have anything left. He's just trying to defend. Poor boy. He's actually wow. Look at the positioning he has taken. That's interesting. Never seen the 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 AI do this. Okay, still have a lot of um, lot of ballista shots, and they're going to be quite useful against these Uruk halberds. Come on. Look at the amount of dead bodies. He lost eighty-two percent of his men with just my archers. That's why I gotta love sieges. You know, whenever I can do a siege like this. It's much better. Where are the other shots? Come on. Are you attacking? Now you are. Good. Oh, and I actually destroyed... Or he destroyed a few of my catapults. Two of them, actually. To be fair. These units are trying to attack, but they are going to cause some damage as well. Let's try to hit that Moran guard. Just because it's... Still not spread out, so... That's it. Nice shots. Nice shots. He immediately started spreading out. Okay, so... A bit tired of waiting. Let me just send my pikes in. Come on, can't you... Can't you deploy like over there? Let me take away this. Good. That's the way we're gonna do it. Just bikes. There's no need for anything else. Let's fast forward. Well, I can just bring the other units, you know, close to reinforce. Building captured. We captured a gateway? Oh, he simulates that there is a gateway here. I guess that's about it. One times two. Th that ballista... Yeah, it's no longer hitting anything too fancy. Let's hit that catapult unit times two or times six, actually. Okay, that's good. All my units are gonna spread out. Look at the pile of bodies. You're gonna fight over a pile of bodies. Look at that. Okay, let's just send a few hits. That's it. What should I attack? You're gonna hit the Uruk Alberts. You're gonna hit those. That's it. Raiders, you're gonna charge. Who's over here? You're gonna charge over there. Urukai infantry, let's charge them as well. 
they're gonna charge them that's cool so everyone here is just gonna kill whatever he has got let me show you it, it's probably a lot darker than it what what it is for me but I guess it's fine come on all gather your pikes and now let them down come on let them down where are the pikes that's it that's it so everyone here is now charging in reavers just charge over there you're gonna stop you're hitting already what you shouldn't now time six and everything will be destroyed let me show you the battle a little bit so the black gate yeah it stands strong no trolls opening doors by the way but still pretty interesting here now you guys should start attacking you should start attacking and you should uh, where are any units attack over there let's just press forward press forward that way my units will attack them from behind you know they always manage to squeeze a little bit you know through the formations that's it that way you're gonna charge attacking here good fasten it up there's nothing almost left you know a few Moran guards and such how many men did I lost five percent that's almost nothing cool 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 uh, I'm gonna show you after this I'm gonna show you what I did on the Harad front actually uh, where where's the last guy come on slay them all where is he oh there you are that's it two more men over there and that's about it okay I'm gonna show you what I did oh I lost a hundred men exactly huh uh, what I did on uh, the Harad front, I actually did one uh, siege battle, I auto-resolved it, because, well, it was only the general in. You're gonna notice where. So he captured that city as well. Moranon is ours, of course. That's cool. This guy is actually going to push all the way over to Dor now Hak. Uh, then Lord Lutz is gonna capture this, or destroy this army. Okay, let's capture Moranon. That's cool. What can I take away here? Black Numenorians. Certainly. It doesn't produce anything for me. And the trolls. And the ballistic towers. That's about it. Now I can build a war breeder. And in terms of recruitment, I'm going to do that on the next uh, turn. Or during the, the, the next turn. So that's going to be easy. Now I have this army here, it's going to push over to Morigost, and this one, I'm going to attack this captain, off camera, then I'm going to besiege Baradur. Probably the next episode will be the siege over there, Baradur. So over here, I'm going to have this small battle, as you can see it's just, you know, Corsairs and Catapults, it's nothing really. Uh, I'm besieging Ninda the Stalad, I'm planning out to besiege them. And I captured Barad Harn, which was, you know, uh, like I said, an unresolved, just ballistas to open the gates, and that's pretty much it. And I also have another army coming in, especially with this guy as well. You know, even though they're Snagas, there's not a big deal. So, what do I actually want to see? I want to see what's going on over there. This is this capital, huh? Yeah, interesting. Uh, this army, it's one of his best right now you know a lot of southern warband which are you know i really gotta uh, take them into consideration and a lot of southern lancers southern armies are pretty cool you know just basic spearmen and cavalry and some archers to to provide cover um so on the dunland front what i'm gonna do probably on the next episode actually i'm gonna do this battle on the next episode over here and see what happens um, for if I'm fortunate enough I won't lose too much and I can take Argon then survive a little bit there if I lose too much then I'm just gonna have to send this this army there instead of going over to Birik I'm actually besieging here this orc town uh, I might just take it uh, just one ballist is more than enough and I have like 
One clan hunter, one, two, three archer units. That's about it. And I have some southern warbands as well. So I have three archer units, a few clansmen. I could use all these corsairs and, and clansmen in southrons on the actual battle. Don't know. Maybe I'm going to just wait it out. Uh, no point, no, rushing it. it. Rushing it uh, at this point. Uh, it's just, you know, mop up. I wanted to crush the Mordor capital, of course. Um, just as, you know, a, a good soothing finish, let's say. So, cheers, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the battle over at the Black Gate. And on the next episode, I'm going to try to capture Argon. Which it's not going to be easy, because I don't have too much stuff here. Uh, but I'm gonna try, you know, against these two armies. If I don't survive with too much, well, then I'm just gonna, going to actually move over this area. Yeah, there aren't too many armies around this area. So I guess I can capture Argond and go over to North Tarbat. And that way, as soon as I capture this one, South Tarbat, I'll have North, South, and this army can defend against these guys. Yeah, that's cool. Cheers, guys, and goodbye.